talk to me a little bit about why you feel it's important for uh, the U.S. and Texas, and then also as far as the, na the overall spending plan, some conservatives yep. have criticized it for the Democrats getting much more than the Republicans got out of it. This week, Congress passed the National Defense Authorization Act, which is a big, big victory for our military. It's a big victory for Texas. It's a big victory for our country. Uh, I played a very active role in helping pass the NDAA. Indeed, it includes 13 different provisions that I authored that are important to the state of Texas. It includes things like a 3.1 percent pay increase for the fighting men and women of our military. That is sorely needed and much deserved. It includes things like growing and expanding the F-35 fifth generation fighter jet program. That is that, that, that those fighter jets are, are built in North Texas. You're looking at about 35,000 jobs in North Texas that come from the F-35 program. That's a big victory for Texas. We're looking at an additional 343 million dollars in new military construction on Texas bases from Fort Hood to Dias to Joint Base San Antonio. That's a big victory for Texas. And then we're also looking at the establishment of a space force. Texas has always been a leader in space. I chair the Aviation and Space Subcommittee of the Senate Commerce Committee. The Space Force is integral to keeping America safe in the decades and centuries to come. And one final point that I want to emphasize about the NDAA, it also includes bipartisan legislation that I introduced that, that sanctions and stops the construction of Russia's Nord Stream 2 natural gas pipeline. That's a pipeline from Russia to Germany. It's almost completed, and if it were to be completed, it would put billions in the pockets of Vladimir Putin and, and help fund his military aggression. It would hurt Europe and make Europe more dependent on Russian energy blackmail. These bipartisan sanctions that I authored and shepherd, shepherded through both the Senate and the House now are targeted, very narrowly targeted, like a scalpel, at the companies building the pipeline. It's designed to stop the pipeline. And stopping the pipeline, it's a big victory for U.S. national security. It's a big blow to Putin. But it's also a big victory for jobs in the state of Texas, because we would much rather Europe receiving their energy from Texas, from the United States, than from Russia and sending billions to Putin. So that's, that's a victory that I think was really important we won this week.